All right, got the goods and now I'm walking for a bit because I need to stretch my legs and move around. And the weather got really pretty, so I'm enjoying this. I spy Dylan's candy bar, so I'm gonna stop in there for a treat. Okay, I got the goods at Dylan's. I got a lollipop, my favorite. And right now, I'm just gonna try to get in touch with Alexander because I think he wants to meet for lunch. So yeah, I'm just gonna see when and where he wants to do that. I just wanna say, look at this beautiful sunny day over by Union Square Park for January. I think this is awesome. All right, Alexander says he's on his way down to meet me, so we'll see. I'm just standing here waiting for him to get down and like just sitting here with this camera. It looks like I'm just taking the world's longest selfie. Or I'm just taking like a lot of selfies. I hope he gets down here soon. Alexander Panda, where you want to go for lunch? I don't know, like I'm not hungry. Michael, I have to, I have to come to you there. Step into my shelf. You're not hungry? In the sun, you pick like the green <laughs> spot that's like blinding. No, I'm not very hungry. All right. For you? Oh, definitely like to eat. Okay. Oh, you came in my shot. So we came to Essex for lunch. Essex. Essex. Oh. Essen for lunch. We're sitting by the window, which I like because you can watch people watch. I've seen a lot of dogs wearing sweaters walking by. I like that. Anyway, I got a Caesar side salad. I made that first, and then after I made that, I found a Philadelphia roll. So I know it's kind of weird to eat together, but I'd already made the salad. So Alexander's just gonna help me eat both. And then to drink, it is Evolution Fresh Watermelon. And down here it says high pressure process, but at first I totally thought it said highly processed and I was like, why, why are they advertising that? But anyways, we're gonna dig into our sushi now. I don't know what they're filming, but there's a production truck, lightning production rentals, and like if you look at the doors, it says like stunt friend one and stunt coordinator, so they're filming something, that's kinda cool. Oh my gosh, you guys, drama. I got home and was locked out. If you guys saw our video from when we moved in, we got locked out because our door, it's really weird and temperamental. Anyways, I called Alexander and was like, I'm home but I can't get the door open. And he said that like last time that happened to him, what helped was putting on gloves and I had a pair of black gloves in my backpack. It, he said it helps because like, it hurts your fingers to try to turn it really hard. And when it gets stuck, if you put gloves on, you can like turn it harder without it like ripping your skin, right? So I put on my black gloves and I'm like outside and basically like, I'm like body slamming the door and I'm like tinkering with the lock, wearing black gloves. Like basically I look like I'm breaking into this apartment. But I finally got in, it is, about two o'clock, I have to meet, Alexander and I are meeting with a realtor at an open house, because we might be moving, but that's not till 7.30 tonight, so I've got some time to kill. Hey besties, it's a few hours later, and I changed clothes for two reasons. One, because they fixed the hot water, so I took a shower, and two, because I wanted to help Jeff the author of Symptoms of Being Human, I wanted to help him visualize what it would be like to hang out with Team Apple for a little bit. So, I'm here in the studio today with Jeff Garvin, the author of the best-selling book, Symptoms of Being Human. Hey, Jeff. And then Jeff says, Hey, Team Apple. And then I faint. But then I recover, and I ask him all the questions I've been dying to ask him about himself and about his book, Symptoms of Being Human. So I fell in love with this book right away from like the first page. He talks about how, you know, some days he dresses one way, he being Riley, who actually isn't a he or a she, so we'll say they. They talk about saying like, Sometimes they want to dress like girls, some days they want to dress like a boy. It just depends how they feel and they wish they could dress each day how they feel. But then it says, 
It doesn't matter how I feel because however I show up today, people will expect me to look the same tomorrow. So my only choice is to go neutral. And I can definitely relate because I'm one of those people where I feel like, depending how I feel when I wake up in the morning, that determines how I want to dress that day. And I feel lucky that like, whatever I decide to wear tomorrow, you know, whatever I'm feeling, I can do that. But not everyone has that freedom, you know, a lot, there's a lot of judgment in this world. But like, I, recently I decided to cut all my hair off. It, it was like this long, just a few weeks ago. And I can do that, you know, but for some people, it's really hard. So I think that that's something that caught me about this book, but really for everyone, identity is hard. So I think even someone who's not specifically gender fluid could definitely relate to this book because of just the fact that I think we all struggle with parts of our identity at least. Like we don't, I don't think it, we all love everything about ourselves, right? So there's, there's always at least something that we struggle to accept about ourselves and that we struggle with other people not accepting it about ourselves as well. And I don't know which is harder, accepting everything about myself or dealing with other people not accepting everything about myself. Like those are both really hard things. So I just, you know what? I think, I think Jeff's actually a little taller. Yeah. There we go. Hopefully I didn't just throw the camera out of focus. Anyways, I just I think it's so awesome that Jeff was able to write a book that not only speaks to the topic of gender fluidity, which is something that I think a lot of us are not familiar with yet, but also to write it in a way that is so relatable to so many people. I just want to say Thanks again to Jeff Garvin. I can't believe this was your first young adult novel. It is amazing and I'm so glad that you wrote it. And I just, I wish you all the best and I'm so, so happy that I came across your book. Okay, it is now 6.20, so really I should be on the way to meet Alexander for the open house. But first I wanted to end this vlog and really quickly show you guys the giveaway. So, in today's giveaway, as I told you guys, there's a copy of Symptoms of Being Human. There is also your very own Team Apple shirt, like the one I'm wearing now. I'm actually really excited about that. And there's some pink mechanical pencils. And this is a pencil case by the brand Bando. I think it's pronounced Bando, I don't know. But I have the same pencil case. It's the one I use for school. And a Bando notebook spiral that says your future looks bright and so all you have to do to get the bando school supplies and t-shirt symptoms of being human is comment below hashtag symptoms of being human and then of course hashtag team apple and i'm gonna hurry really fast to go meet alexander and the realtor at the open house so i'm gonna sign off here and just say to Jeff, and to all of my Team Apple besties, find something, anything to smile about today. Be yourself, love yourself, and I'll see you soon. And so, wow, my brain stopped working for a second.